This is Brandon with the Auburn Corps Duesenberg Automobile Museum. Thanks for continuing to follow us and learning a little bit more history about the Auburn Automobile Company, EL Cord, and this National Historic Landmark building that is one of our major artifacts for the Auburn Corps Duesenberg Automobile Museum. Here we are in EL Cord's office. EL Cord came in in the mid 1920s to save the floundering Auburn Automobile Company and he was charged with making the company successful by the group of investors from Chicago uh, that hired him to become president of this organization. He did so well that he took stock options to the point of gaining ownership and control over the company and to bring on Duesenberg Inc. and to also introduce his own line of vehicles, the Cord. So this is where a lot of inspiration happens, where Eel Cord would meet with his other executives, other members of the Auburn Automobile Company, make key decisions, and also let his ingenuity and his inventive mind flow. So it's a very unique space. It was his private office. It had his own private bathroom, his own closet, and we have some historical photos uh, in our collection, in our archives that you'll see of this space as well when EO Cord had this all decked out with his desk and his chair uh, and all of the things that made this his unique and individual space. Coming from EO Cord's office, we go directly into the Auburn Automobile Company boardroom. So this is the boardroom where these executive decisions were made. This is such an inspirational space to think this is where the gentlemen would sit with their cigars, with their cigarettes, smoking and thinking about what this company needed to do to progress in the future. It's very uh, sad to think about also being in this time in the 1930s when the decision had to be made during the Great Depression that the Auburn Automobile Company could no longer continue into the future, which led to it actually closing down. So there's a lot of uh, both inspiration, memories, heavy heartedness in this room. And it's very unique for us. We continue to use the room for our board meetings, our staff meetings, and also inviting members of the public when they like uh, to use our facilities to be able to come into the boardroom. Here we are in the marketing and advertising offices for the Auburn Automobile Company. This is where these amazing design happened. And this was also a global advertising office. So this stuff was seen all over the world. So we have our actual offices and then we have examples of the designs that were created here. You can see whether it's racing and going over 100 miles an hour, the safety of the Auburn Automobile Company and having a large family in one of their sedans, all the way to advertising to women and saying she drives a Duesenberg. But if you look, there's no Duesenberg in the image. It's one of the first companies to create advertising art without the actual object that they're advertising. See it here as well, she drives a Duesenberg. Youthful, safety, front wheel drive is safer. These are some of the exemplary designs that they created here. Small, young team, but really making a global difference. That's almost the whole inspiration behind the automobile company that was here in Auburn. So this small area really impacted automobile design throughout the entire world, just like E.L. Cord, Gordon Bierig, those other individuals, Alan Lee, me included, created vehicles that were unlike any others that really set the precedence for the automotive world going forward. And we're here in the clay designing room where Gordon Burig and his clay sculptors and designers worked together on creating the vision for the automobiles that they were designing. So here we have original forms and clay tools and modeling tools that were all owned by Gordon Burig. And as we go further into the room, you can see the actual clay models. A clay modeling was revolutionary at the time for the designs and testing it out, uh, seeing if the vehicle looked right. So they continued to do this and made an industry standard with clay modeling. But then Gordon Burig created his own patent, first time using a design bridge to be able to measure all the components of that clay model and then be able to use those measurements to put into production of the vehicle. We're currently standing in Alan Leamy's office, which was one of the major designers here at the Auburn Automobile Company. You can see some of his original designs here on the table, along with typical tools that he would have used on his drafting desk. And then we're stepping into the children's drafting area where kids can get on the easel and they can make their own designs inspired by what the designers here at the company did. 
And then furthermore, visitors get to see the original drawings done by Limi. These are just some that we have, so you can see all this amazing artwork while you're here too. And here we are in the company showroom at the Auburn Court Duesenberg Automobile Museum. This is a grand Art Deco style showroom. This building was designed by Alvin M. Strauss, who created a lot of the buildings in the Fort Wayne area, but he was hired by E.L. Core to do the design work for this main administration building. So you can see that all the Art Deco architecture around us, it's just dripping in that time period. We've got 18 foot windows here, 20 foot ceilings, six foot tall chandeliers, a mixture of silver leaf paint, uh, 1970s restoration that we're looking to restore again re, uh, sometime soon, because we have all the original uh, colors and color schemes for these areas doing paint analysis with our historic structures report. You can see the terrazzo floor, the grand staircase. This was meant for people to come into here and be absolutely overwhelmed by what they saw here down from the building to the automobiles and getting them back to their dealerships wherever they happen to be around the world.